Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our Journeyman Glory Hunter run with Bordeaux. Still going for that cup win in the French League. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. As you can see, we've had a pretty good run of form overall, uh, although we did start off pretty rough. We had the loss to PSG in the, the Trophy de Champion. Uh, we then lost to OM. We lost to PSG early on. We had a couple draws against some teams, and it was right here, right before this uh, Havre AC game that I actually swapped formations, and then we went on like a crazy streak only losing to Bre Be uh, FC Bayern, and then we just drew to LOSC in a game that was very much uh, us, like we dominated this game big time, and we got FM'd. So, one of those things that happens from time to time. But as you can see, we are putting up goals like crazy in the league. So hopefully we can keep that up today. Uh, we're playing, obviously, a very easy team first up, and then we'll just have to keep things going as best we can. We're currently third in the league, uh, mostly because PSG is just not skipping a beat at all. They've drawn one game, and I don't... Have they lost? Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Uh, they've lost one. Okay, so there we go. So they're not skipping a beat. Uh, we're actually behind AS Monaco at the moment, but I'm not too worried about that. I mean, you can see our goal differential. We're just absolutely wrecking people. Um, and we've got assist, all the assist uh, top threes. We've got the average rating. We actually had average rating top three for a moment there. But looks like PSG striker is picking back up with that. Uh, player of the match awards. Obviously, clean sheets were in there. So we're doing good. We're doing really good, uh, especially since I've changed formations. But things are definitely... Anything can happen with these cup games. I mean, just one slip up, just like we did against LOAC just now, or, or anybody, uh, can take us from a 7 nothing win to a game where we lose by one or something crazy like that. So, like, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, you will also, I think I mentioned this last episode, I uh, will notice that we uh, are now the Italy manager. Uh, as of right now, we are, uh, we got out of the International League division, uh, so I guess we'll be moving on from that. Did pretty good. I actually have them playing the same formation I switched to with the uh, Bordeaux people. Uh, the only problem that we have coming up, and we do play England coming up here in the semifinal of the International League. The big thing we've got going on for us that it's a negative, I would say is that we are, let's see, is this, this isn't all the competitions. Oh, here we go. Now here it is. Uh, we are in a group for the European Championship. This is the one we care about. This is the one we need. We're in a group with France, of all people. Just why, why, why? So that's going to be um, challenging, let's just say the least. But we've got a good team. They're doing well, and uh, we'll see if we can keep things up. All right, let's get into today's game. Here is... Oh, actually, before I get into today's game, I think I did bring somebody in since the last episode. Sorry, I got a hair <laughs> tickling my eye. I don't know if you ever had that happen. Uh, did I Did I have Bjejic? I don't think I did, because I don't think I, 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 I don't think I've tried saying his name before. Um, Zivojin Bjejic? There ain't no way I'm going to be able to say your name, my friend. Um, you are now just... I'll just call you ZB. So we got ZB here. Um, he comes in here just just as a youngster that has some potential. He can play in the middle. He can play on the right. Uh, current two and a half star could go all the way, all the way up to four star. Uh, we didn't pay a ton of money for him. He's not costing us a lot of money on the wages. So he's actually already valued well above what we paid for him. We've, he's actually developed in, you know pretty well so far. We'll see if we can keep that up. Uh, we've also returned a couple loanies that were sent out before. So if we go look at the squad now, in fact, if we go look at the squad depth, I guess. Let's change this over to you. Um, you can see that we've got Kwasi, McAvoy, Schmidt up front. Um, Gilligan is not here, so let's just jump him out of here real quick for a second. Actually, I think I could do that through this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. High players loaned out. There we go. Um, so we've got... Oh, th th just spoiler alert. This is the formation where we're running. We've seen this formation before, so we're just going to go back to it. it. It works really well. And we'll keep things going. Uh, we got Salvi came back. I mean, he's developed pretty good. He's a two-star current player. Two stars, considering we've got players that are like four and a half stars. So, I mean, my most most teams, he might be a two and a half, three-star player, to be honest. Uh, we got McAvoy, who can play over here on the right-hand side. Elias has been playing a lot over here on the right-hand side as well. We brought back Karuma. 
he came back for us because he's he's doing you know a good rotational player for us um i thought there was one other i'm just not seeing it my brain's not remembering who it was we'll we'll, we'll see it when we see it but uh, there is another guy that we've got somewhere in here that uh we brought back from loan because he, he just was doing really well uh mevel has developed really well as well in fact you can go see their tactic for today we've actually got mevel as our starting central defender today alongside alan alan's come back to the center Costello moved from the roaming playmaker spot here to the bottom left, and then Maffin is playing there currently. That's because Nuradine has shifted up, um, and Elias, again, sometimes plays up here when McAvoy can't play, and that's when we bring in... Uh, who does it we used to play on the right-hand side? It is... I don't think it's ZB. It was somebody. I forget, suddenly. I'm sorry. We'll, we'll see it when we see it. Um... But this is this has been a pretty good team for us so far. The big thing we have going against us right now is that as of right this moment, Kawasi is injured for several weeks. Ugh. I mean, against that draw against LOAC, that might have been why we drew because he had to go out, um, which is very very unfortunate. So um, Schmidt is doing great though. Sch Schmidt Schmidt's already developed up to a three and a half star player. Like he's an excellent excellent player. But Kawasi is definitely our our master of all things. He's, he's, he's the guy we would prefer to have there, if at all possible. McAvoy playing over here on the right-hand side. He's typically not available for the striker role, although we could shift him up, move Elias up, things like that. But I think this is going to be a pretty good setup for us for today. Um, we do have Puda suspended, or otherwise he'd be in there probably for Mevel. And not again, not that Mevel's been bad. He's been great. In fact, he's on a 7.5... Uh, I'm sorry, where is he? 7.44 average rating over the last five games. Uh, 7.28 overall average rating. I mean, he's doing really really well for us he's training really well he's developing and again of course alan has turned out to be a pretty good hit for us as well so let's keep things going uh let's get into this game see if we can get a win here today i mean there's no 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 reason why we shouldn't get a win today like this this should be a gimme uh, in fact these first two games should be gimmies and then we get into the tougher games hopefully we don't get psg again in the very first game although to be honest we've got to get through them at some point i'd almost rather just knock them out and have an easier final game but Let's see what we can do here. This team coming in, facing us, is actually on a pretty good run of form right now. Oh, let me change this. I had it set to only commentary. Let's put it back on key highlights so we all can enjoy things together. All right, so we're going to get a corner kick coming in today. Or no, actually, actually a throw in from Maffin into Nuruddin. Nuruddin... Gets it over to Schmidt. Schmidt goes for goal. What a goal from Schmidt. Oh, that guy's... That guy, uh, I'm glad you're here, buddy. I'm glad you're here. Because with uh, Kawasi injured, we need that strong striker center, uh, uh, you know, presence. And again, McAvoy is fine. We could use McAvoy, but if McAvoy can stay out on the right-hand side, he's still in the game, right? Having both McAvoy and Schmidt in at the same time is the best option here. McAvoy's actually looked like he took a little bit of a knock. He was dipped down on his conditioning for a moment, but he's back up to green now. Come on, guys. We should be beating this team by, like, seven goals. I mean, we're destroying them on the stats otherwise. We just can't get anything going with as far as the, uh, the goals are concerned. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do something stupid here, guys. All right, there's Koshienza. Koshienza. Mevel to Allen. Allen all the way back to Peterson. Back up to Allen. There's Elias back for it. Koshienza to Sila. Or Silla, sorry. Schmidt over to Costello. Nuradine, come on, buddy. <sighs> Miss there, buddy. Come on. McAvoy corner kick coming in. Nobody's there, unfortunately. And it looks like it will go to the other team temporarily. Very cool. Actually, pretty relatively cold day. 44 degrees. All right, come on, guys. We are not looking good today compared to what we have. I mean, we've got a bunch of sevens down here. Don't get me wrong. We are looking good statistically. We're not looking good score-wise. Oh, my gosh. We can't even score when the goalkeeper's not even in front of it. Oh, come on. Let's get, let's get something here, guys. Let's not waste this. Ah, what is going on? Why are we suddenly not able to score? I 
mean, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Uh, one goal. One goal. All right, there's McAvoy with the kick. Neville's there. Not able to get that one down. Still not getting anything going for us. Rodine back to Costello. Ursula over to Maffin. Back to Mevel. Allen with the ball. Gets it up to Cushienza. Elias. Tries to get over to New Rodine. He's going to get it. He is. He's got a couple options in the middle here. Nobody able to get on it on our side. New Rodine gets it across. Schmidt not able to get that one in there. We are... Like, we're playing extremely well. And the game is... Just be <laughs> in the game sometimes. Uh, why do you have to do this to me, game? We need this so badly. There's Nuradine with the ball. Allen gets it up to Elias. Nope. Bad pass there. I mean, that was just bad play. We are not looking like a team that is like three or four. I think it's. I think we're three. I think this is a national team. So they're what two levels below us, right? But we're at the top of the top level, so yeah, we're not looking like the best team in France right now. There's Cachienza. Easy go. Easy go. Good stuff, buddy. Thank you, my friend, for doing what we should have done 15 minutes ago. Highlights continuing. Come on, guys. Be careful with those those slide tackles. We don't want to get a red card in a game like this that shouldn't matter. Still with the ball over to Cachienza. Cachienza makes a little bit of a move there. Gets out to the right outside. Gets inside there, Scylla. Nope, not able to get in that with Nuradine, though. Cross, there's McAvoy. McAvoy was set in a good spot. Just couldn't get it. Uh, McAvoy now over to nobody. Gets deflected by... I mean, the defenders are actually... A couple times that we've seen them here with these highlights. They're doing a decent job, all things considered. Wow. We should be ashamed of ourselves right now. We should be embarrassed. Goodness, we are playing like, yeah, we play like this. Uh, I might as well just <laughs> call this series here because there ain't no way we're getting a cup win ever at <laughs> this kind of gameplay. You know, highlight already. Come on, guys. Come on. The FMing is just not fair. <laughs> it really isn't. It's like, why? Why? Statistically, we are significantly better team, and it shows. But for whatever reason... You know, maybe if I change the formation so that we play worse, we'll score more goals. Is that is that how the math works? When you split, when you play outstandingly, like you're like amazing stats, you don't score anything. But when you play poorly, you score goals for for for, for whatever reason. All right, there's Elias with the ball. Gets across. Nuradine tries to get it to Schmidt. Is he going to get on it? He is, but it, not on target. So we're going to have to do a sub here, though. Um. I mean, Maffin is playing pretty poorly right now. So we'll bring Morel in for him. Poorly compared to everybody else, let's put it to be fair. I do not want Mevel on a yellow card in here, so we'll bring Albert into that spot. Elias with the throw in. McAvoy up to Schmidt. Schmidt. What a goal by Schmidt. 
Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right, last sub here. Looks like Nuruddin is the most tired. We'll bring Valley into that spot. We'll just go with that. <laughs> We're just, oh goodness. 16 on target shots. I mean, their goalkeeper's gotta be, yeah, he's like the player of the match. <laughs> practically. I mean, he's stopping everything that comes his way. Well, I say everything. A lot of things are coming his way. He's stopping, which is impressive. So Elias with the ball. We're going to have maybe one more shot here at the end. Maybe. Hard to tell. Oh, Schmidt. Hat trick. Oh, almost had it. Sure, what that was, but we'll go for it. Should be the end of the game. I mean, we were dominant, just not on the scoreboard, which is annoying. Um, because when you're dominant and you keep a game this close with a, a team that you should have beat by double, you know, double the, the score that you got, uh, that tells you that I mean, you could lose at any time, even if you're playing well. Like we're playing extremely well. I mean, you're telling me that I could change the formation to play better than that? It's, it's, it's not much you can do. It's just we're not getting the goals to drop in that particular game. But we've gotten them to drop in other games, to be fair. Uh, and the only reason it bothers me the most is because uh, we just did the same thing against LOAC. We had an extremely high XG. We were just dominant in this game, and then we only we, we let them draw it up. But if you look at a lot of these other games, 4-1, 5-0, 7-0, 3-1, that one's a little bit low, but 6 nothing, 7 nothing. you know, we had a lot of extremely good games along this run. It's just these last couple of games just feel like we're not playing to our full potential, or at least not scoring to our full potential. All right, well, that's that. We'll be right back for game number two, which will be here, you know, what's that? About two weeks, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back for this next game against FC Villa French, I guess. Um, they're a national team too, so I think they're a level lower than the last team that we just saw. Uh, hopefully, that means it's an easier game. We'll find out. Here's the team we're bringing today. We got uh, Peterson and goal, Costello on the left, Allen on the right, Puda and Mevel in the middle here, Maffin ahead of them. Valley comes in the left wing, Elias comes in on the right wing, so he shifts up, Allen moves over. Uh, Silla Cachienza still in the Shadow Striker roles, and Schmidt as our advance forward. Uh, we don't have Albert because he's suspended, we don't have our backup goalkeeper today, and we don't have Nuruddin because he is traveling, just like Saib, uh, for some uh, international play. Uh, Kwasi's still injured. He pa he failed his fitness test, so hopefully he'll be ready for the next round, uh, assuming we can get past this one, but uh, we'll find out. And the uh, transfer window just opened. I'm not expecting to do any transfers, although I guess if somebody came in with a stupidly large offer for one of my players, I don't know. It would be hard to say no, but they would have to like give me like stupid money. So we'll see. Gonna highlight right as the kickoff of this game here. The uh, opponent's stands completely full of today. I'm sure they're excited to play a team of our caliber. Valley with the ball. Over to Scylla. Scylla to Allen. Allen gets it up to Elias. Elias, is he going to go for goal? No, he's going to try to get inside, I'm sure. Nope, he tried. Didn't do... Failed, quite frankly. And here comes uh, uh, Villafranche on the counter. Nope, we got it back. Costello with the ball. Gets it up to Scylla. Scylla back to Costello. All the way up to Schmidt. Schmidt. Good goal. Easy goal for him. He has turned into quite the striker.
A couple degrees colder than that last dink game with a little bit of drizzle on top. So that can make for some miserable times. Allen with the throw in. Cutchy ends up back to Allen. Over to Maffin. Elias gets all the way up. Not able to get to Schmidt that time. Maffin gets the ball back here, though. Kachienza over to Maffin. Up to Silla. Silla's going to get Elias. Elias going to get it to Schmidt. A little bit on the outside, buddy. Good effort, though. Let's go. Whole lot of nothing so far. That's that one goal. Even our stats aren't as good as they were in that last game. Not sure what's going on. There's a corner kick coming in for the opponents. All right. Come on, guys. Let's pull it together. You got to highlight just before halftime here, it looks like. Scylla with the ball over to Maffin. Maffin up to Schmidt. Over to Costello. Costello back to Valley. Up to Scylla. Scylla's going to have a chance here. Uh, what was that? Was he offside or something? Oh, did they just call the game? Really? As we're did they whistle the half as we're literally driving in? Or something else must have happened. I just missed it. All right. Well, we're definitely going to need another gear here. That's I would agree with that. Something's just not going quite right here. Part of the reason why we had to sh uh, switch formations, at least not the way I feel. Um, it works is that the opponents tend to like get used to your formation if you use it for a long periods of time. There's Costello with the goal finally. Uh, if you use the same formation for a long period of time, they eventually start figuring it out and making game plans against it, right? So it's good to change things up from time to time. And uh, that's why I felt like that other formation, as good as it was, was just not, you know, it just wasn't staying consistent this, this season. So that's why I wanted to swap. I'm hopeful that they haven't figured out this one <laughs> this quickly, but. We're still putting up numbers. Like I said, we're still putting up good stats. Just for some reason, with the ones that I'm showing you guys, we're not getting the goals like we were getting uh, when I was playing offline. There's Maffin down to Scylla. Scylla gets it up to Schmidt. Schmidt gets past the defense. Just him and the goalkeeper. A little over the bar, buddy. Come on. It'll be good to have uh, Kwasi back. Schmidt's great. Don't get me wrong. Kwasi's better. All right, um, a couple yellow cards I would probably prefer to get out of here if we can. We only have one defender, though. All right, we'll pull Mevel out, bring ZB into that spot. Mavin again, not having a great game. I guess we'll bring Marinov into that spot today. And that'll be it for now. Oh, of course, Puda gets injured. Great. So he's going to be able to bounce back. Might be all right to make it to the end. We'll see. We may need to sub him out here in a moment if we can find anybody. Oh, buddy, if you scored that, would have been perfect. All right, let's see here. Um, we would need to move some people around here. We need to play some musical chairs. So Alan moves in. Uh, Elias comes back. And McAvoy comes in. All right, Costello with the throw in here. Valley with the ball. Marinov over to Costello. Bounce off the guy in front of him. Gets it back temporarily, but then gives it up again. There we go. Gets that one back. Costello gets it up to Valley. Valley back to Costello. Up to Kachienza. Scylla over to McAvoy. Fresh legs. Is he going to be able to do something here? Nope. No, he's not. Again, we play like this against the tougher teams. We are not going to make it, guys. Although, to be fair, we scored quite a few goals last season in the early early two easy games, and then we fell on our faces against PSG. So maybe, maybe it'll be the reverse this year. Scylla with the ball. Marinov gets it up to Schmidt. Kachanza back up to Schmidt. Schmidt. Oh, what a save. Goodness. 
Again, statistically, we're not playing poorly. We're just coming against the world's greatest goalkeepers or something. I don't know what's going on. Valley all the way over to McAvoy. Come on. There we go, Schmidt. There we go. It's like we better score on that one. We we looked like super aggressive on that one. We had the numbers. Yeah. Should have should have been a better score than that. Easier score than that, but it works. We'll take it. I mean we're still there, guys, but and we're still looking strong. It's just Really hoping for more goals than that. All right. Um, that's, I think one of my Italian players. One in the 10th round. Who has been winning? Yeah, see, they won twice before we showed up, right? So <laughs> can't get back in there. Puda out for seven days. Oof. Would love love to have won another championship while we're trying to win this cup thing because that's that's it was like I said that there's an achievement for winning the championship three times in a row, but it's not looking super good right now. But we'll see. Uh, will we know here in a minute? We might know here in a minute who we're playing. I think. Let's see who we're gonna play. I'll be right back. We'll see what we're gonna. Hopefully, we get the news here in just a moment. All right, so here we go for the draw. Let's see what we get. Was this the round that we got PSG last time? I think. Uh, let's go look at this one. I think it was the second game, right? It was the uh, next round after this. Yeah, yeah. So we got Hiver AC first, and then we got PSG. So, I mean, look at these. 7-0, 6-1, 7-0. I mean, we were dominating last year. And again, statistically, we're looking pretty good this year. Just not getting the, uh, the goals. So... Let's see here. I think we can get a League One team. I could be wrong, though. I think it's still technically possible. That would have been a fun one. That would have been an easy one for us. Uh, this one would be a pretty de de decent one for us as well. RC Lens, okay. Uh, well, this is us. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're getting whoever. Um, I don't know if it's set to only play... If it's just a... We can pull from anything in the pool, or if it is set to be alternating, uh, like League One versus Lower Leagues. I actually haven't. I didn't. I didn't pay attention. No, no. It had to be League One because we got Haver AC last year. Oh my! Of course, we get the number two team in the league. Why couldn't AS Monaco play PSG? Of course, PSG gets a national team. Uh, we're going to have to run some sort of gauntlet this year. Like oh, We've done it before, though. We've run gauntlets to win cup games, you know, cup trophies before. So we'll see. But anyway, that's it for today, guys. Next up, <laughs> AS Monaco. Hopefully it's more than one game in that next episode. We will find out together, though. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.